what's up everybody? Gamer Pro 8000 here and welcome back to another reaction about SML. Where I'm going to react to their old video and that happens to be career day. And I got to ask all of you something. All the all the schools that you have previously been in and graduated or you're at the school right now, do any of you ever have any career days? Because the reason why I ask that, because, yeah, having career days is not that bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. When there's a lot of people who have so many jobs that has different jobs, they can actually explain to you uh, what you can do in your jobs and you can sign up for it. Yeah, I get that. I remember back in middle school, yeah, it had career day, like a doctor, a police, a fireman, or any other person who has a job. Yep, and one of the jobs you might be interested in uh, signing up for, you could actually do that just like they have. Yeah, but sometimes it could take risk. I mean, yeah, you could take risks of like your own life. Yeah, sometimes it's really risky for you to do that. I mean, yeah, you got to be careful of what you're signing up for. But it could cost you to, it could cost you to lose your life. It could cost you to actually feeling exhausting. It can actually cause you to go on dangerous missions and all that. Yeah. When I get a job, I need to watch out of what I'm signing up for so I can put my skills in it. Because if if it, if it has something to do with any of that, yeah, I really gotta watch out of what I'm signing up for. I hope any of you are doing the exact same thing. Yeah, we gotta watch out. But anyway, yeah. Let me know in the comments if that ever happens to you. If you had a career days and you're interested in the jobs they are explaining to you that you can actually do and put your skills into it. Yeah, we should actually be really proud of ourselves that we have a job that we are good at. Uh-huh. And the most important thing, you can actually get paid. You can actually earn yourself like a like a achievement or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. The boss can be really proud of you and everybody can love you. Uh-huh. Yeah. But anyway, before I even get straight into this video, I just need you all do me a huge favor and that's see what like in this video. And most probably subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell right yet. Thank you all so much. I appreciate that. Now let's get straight into this video and see how this goes. Alright class, tomorrow is career day. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna have your parents come with you to school tomorrow and they're gonna tell the class what they do for a living. And if they don't come to school with you, then you fail. Uh, what if we don't have parents? Then I suggest you pay someone to pretend to be your parent tomorrow. Okay. My dad doesn't even have a job. He just sits at home and watches TV all day. I don't even know what my parents do. And one more thing, Crass. Whosever parent has the coolest job will win an iPhone 13 that my son made in shop. An iPhone 13? I want that! Me too! Oh, dude, that's not fair! I don't have parents! Uh, Cody, can I borrow one of yours? Back off, Joseph. Get your own parent. Dude, you have two! You can share! Uh, guys, my dad's gonna get a really cool job and it's gonna be at your parents' jobs. No, uh -huh. No, he's not, Junior. Your dad just sits at home and watches TV all day. Well, I'll show you guys a really cool job. My daddy has the coolest job. He's the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. My parents aren't there for me. That's why I bully people. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Jeffy. How was school? It was good. Um, tomorrow's career day, so I need you to come to my school and tell everyone in my class that you're the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Wait, tomorrow's career day? Yep. And I have to go in front of your class and tell them what I do for a job? Uh-huh. Marvin, what is your job? Uh, I, I, I do stuff. I work. I, I clean around the house. I... I don't have a job. You don't have a job? How do we pay our bills? Uh, we get unemployment checks, baby. Marvin, what are you going to do tomorrow when you tell the whole class you don't have a job? Jeffy will be embarrassed. Well, no, I can tell him I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Bingo. Marvin, all the other parents are the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny, too. Oh, don't tell Jeffy that. <laughs> Hold on, let me see who that is. Hello? Hey, Marvin. It's that time of the month again. Where's your house payment? Uh, I, I don't have the money for my house payment this month. You don't have your money for your house payment? Every month with this, Marvin! How do you get money? Do you not have a job? No, I don't have a job. I mean, you don't have a job? 
Well, I'm looking no for No wonder you can't pay your house payment. Why don't you have a job? I've been looking. I just don't know who's hiring. Everyone's hiring. Why don't you go get a job at Footlong Wieners? They're hiring. They'll hire anybody. What place is that? It's a hot dog shop. Okay, I, I will go in a few weeks. And no, you will go right now. Actually, you're going to go right this second. Come on. Well, you're going to go there. And if you don't have your house payment and a job by tomorrow, you're going to be seeing my footlong wiener. Okay, let, let me go grab my keys. <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was good money. He said the house payments do it. Jeffy, stop it. You're distracting me. You're just, Jeffy, you're distracting me. Go, 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 go. It was good, man. He said my house payment was due and I need to get a job. You do need to get a job. Well, what do you do for a job? I cook and clean and look pretty. I wish I could do what you do and look pretty. I need to get a job because I don't want to embarrass Jeffy tomorrow. I'm going to go apply for one. Now, that's a great father right there. He doesn't want to embarrass his own son. I like that, Marvin. I like that. And it's not your fault that you can't find, you can't find any job that is for your skills, man. I mean, yeah, some of us can might be difficult to try to find ourselves a job, too. And yeah, I don't blame you. And also, not only that, but she cooks, cleans, and looks pretty. Bitch, you're fucking overweight. Go to the gym, you fat bitch. And also, not only that, but you don't do any cooking and cleaning. You sit on the couch all day just like he does. Shut the fuck up. The only person who does cook and clean around the house is Chef Pee Pee. And he's a chef, for fuck's sake. Also, have any of you ever had any career days at school? Because to me, I sure have. Yeah, they got they got doctors, they got firefighters, they got policemen announcing themselves or what they do for a living in a job. Look at that. Hey there, welcome to Footlong Wieners. What kind of hot dog do you want? Oh, I'm not hungry. I was wondering if you guys were hiring. Uh, no, no, we're not hiring. Well, you have that sign right there that says we hire. Damn it, I thought I took that down. Okay, yes, we're hiring. I just don't like doing interviews. Well, what positions do you have open? Well, we don't really have any positions. Oh, we need a new sign holder. A sign holder? Yeah, you know, somebody who wears a big goofy hot dog costume and stands on the corner holding a sign that says taste my wiener. Wait, 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 a big hot dog outfit? Like, it's, it's 90 degrees outside. Yeah, I know. That's why no one wants the job. As a matter of fact, the last guy that had the job died of heat stroke. He died of a heat stroke? Yeah, he's still in the costume right now. When did he die? This morning. You poor bastard. Well, how much does it pay? Oh, it pays a whopping $8 an hour. <sighs> I really need the job. Okay, I'll go peel the costume off the dead guy. Wait, what size are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're gonna look stupid in the costume anyway. Oh man, this costume's so hot. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be out here in that. So what do I have to do? Well, you just have to hold this sign and yell, taste my wiener at passing cars. I'm not gonna yell that. Oh, come on, you have to. It's advertising for a restaurant. They're not gonna know what I'm talking about. Believe me, when they see this sign, they're gonna want a hot dog and they're gonna come to Footlong Wieners. <sighs> okay, well, can you get me some water? It's really hot outside. No, because you're not selling water. That would just be confusing for people. I mean, I can blend up a hot dog and you can drink that. That's disgusting. That's not gonna hydrate me. Look, just hold the sign. <sighs> okay. Taste my wiener. Come taste my wiener! Taste my wiener? Uh, yeah, taste my wiener. Hey, you need to cut that out. There's kids around here. Well, well they can have one too. Wait, what? Well, no, no, it's, 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 it's a foot long, it's a, it's a hot dog at foot long wieners. I doubt it's that big. Well, it is. You go inside and check it out. Yo, there's, yeah, yeah, there's kids around here. I wonder if Marvin found a job. Uh. Marvin, you look awful! Yeah, Dan, it looks like someone beat your meat and not in a good way. I just got done with my job. What is your job? I'm a sign holder for footlong wieners. I stand by the road and I yell, taste my wiener at traffic. That's the only job you could find? Yeah, it pays $8 an hour. You get a heat stroke and people beat you up. Wow, that'll pay the mortgage. So, Dan, you ready for career day tomorrow? I think it would be less embarrassing for me to say I don't have a job. Oh, no, Dan, come on. Let's show everyone your wiener. All right, Kraft, today is career day. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna call you up one by one, and then your parents are gonna come up to the board and tell the Kraft what they do for a living. Okay, let's start with, uh, Cody, you, bring your parents up to the Kraft. Ooh, it's our turn, it's our turn. Oh, I'm so nervous, I didn't change my tampon. Baby, I told you to change it before we left. G guys, just remember what we practiced, okay? Please don't embarrass me. Mom, remember you work at a dentist's office. And I'm an astronaut, right? Y yeah, sure. Yes. Come on. Okay, guys, talk. Hello, little children. My name is Judith, and I'm an OnlyFans model. Wait, Mom, you're not supposed to tell him that. Oh, Cody, the truth is always better than a lie. I sell pictures of myself naked. Yeah, my name's Tyrone, and I'm an astronaut. I explore booty. You ever seen the planet Uranus? I've been up. Tell him about it, baby. Tell him about it. Oh, it's true. We took a picture of him dressed up like an astronaut. Just going, okay, okay, I think we're done here. Come on. Thank you, Cody's parents. I'll be sure to subscribe to your Ori fans. All right, Joseph, you're next. Come on, Hansel, it's our turn. Now, remember what I told you. You're a football player, okay? 
beer. I'm not old enough to buy beer. Just come on. All right, guys. This is a homeless guy paid to be my dad. Uh, uh I mean, he's a football player. He's won three Super Bowls. Tell him. Touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, that's his touchdown dance. Uh, I pissed. Oh, God. Uh, he can't control his bladder from all the concussions he's gotten. All right. Thank you, Joseph. All right, Penelope, you're up next. Uh, you ready, Dad? Yeah, let's just get this over with. I got a lot of jobs to go do. You're never there for me, Dad. What do you want from me, Penelope? I don't like being around your mother because she's so fat. Either I want Jeffy or Cody or Penelope to win an iPhone. Because I want any of the kids to win them, especially Junior. And also, not only that, but there's ain't no way in hell I'm signing up to be a freaking mascot to hold a sign that says, Taste my wiener. Like, what the fuck? Why can't you say, Come get your hot dogs here? Like, are you serious right now? You make it pretty obvious for someone else to even say that and get it. I am not doing that on a hot summer day. And not only that, but I also not getting fucking beat up. Just because the sign says it right there, it wants you to go in there and buy one. Also, do any of you got shot when we realized that Brooklyn guy has a daughter right now and that happens to be Penelope? Because to me, it got to me too. It really did. Pen I did not forget about Brooklyn guy's son who died because the black girl she's called Dewey that the power went out and I did not forget that. That was in a very old video. Did any of you ever remember that? Let me know. And not only that, but we also see the recent video of Brooklyn Guy's ex-wife. Man, she was like a fucking pig. I don't think any of us wants to see her through the whole videos, even though she's- Um, hi, my name's Penelope. We and... know who you are! Shut up, Junior! Come on, let her talk, man. See, I got you. And my dad has a lot of jobs. Tell him about it, Dad! Yeah, uh, I'm a cop, I'm a doctor, I'm a firefighter. I mean, you know, you've seen me around. I do everything. Except raise me. Oh, come on, that's only because I can't stand to be around your mother. I'd rather work every minute of every day than be around her. She raises me better than you do. Oh, 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 oh hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. Hey, class, I bet I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, why isn't Penelope's mother here today on career day? <sighs> I wonder what her career could be. Oh, I'll tell you what her career is. Her career is sitting on her fat ass and collecting the child support checks she gets from me. Oh, and let's not forget her other career, eating at the buffet every single day. Oh, and then there's the best one. She also has a job working as Shamu at SeaWorld. You know, she really wanted to be here today, but they couldn't fit her through the door because she's a whale. Mom doesn't talk this badly about you. Well, because there's nothing bad to say about me. Look at me. I'm perfect. I'm gorgeous. I mean, you're kind of thin yourself, but that's only because your mother doesn't let you eat. She asks you if you want a plate, and then she leaves and just never comes back because she eats it. You're embarrassing me! Oh, oh, I'm embarrassing you. Oh, have you seen your mother at the Golden Corral? That's embarrassing. Hey, have they banned her from there yet? Oh my god, I hate you! <sighs> anyway, kids, that's Korea Day. So, you know, just don't get married and don't have kids. All right. Thank you, Penelope's dad. Very inspirational. Something we can all get behind. Anyway, all right, Patrick, you're next. Come on, Dad, it's our turn. <laughs> hey, everybody. My daddy's a circus clown, and he can juggle, and he cleans up elephant poop. Show him, Dad. Hey, everybody. Watch this. <laughs> See, it just keeps going and going. Uh-oh. I think he swallowed too many apples. Thank you, Patrick. All right, Junior, you're next. All right, Dad, it's our turn. Let's get this over with. You know I don't want to be here. I know. All right, guys, this is my dad. Tell him what you do. Oh, I'm Junior's dad. I sit on my butt all day and watch TV and collect disability checks. Oh, you should meet my ex-wife. She does the same thing. You two would be perfect for each other. You hear that, Penelope? You want this guy to be your dad? Ooh, you can have a sister, Junior. Well, no, I'm trying to date her. Oh, that would be weird. <laughs> Come on, Dad. All right. Thank you, Junior and Junior's dad. All right, Jeffy, you're next. Oh! Daddy, it's our turn. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Everyone else had really cool jobs. Well, I think you're cool, Daddy. You're just a beat up waiter. Come on. <sighs> <sighs> Hello, my name is Marvin. I work at Footlong Wieners. I'm the sign holder. I stand outside dressed as a hot dog and I say, come taste my wiener. Yep, he sure does. Hey, I told you to stop. This kid's in here. Oh, no, it's just my job. Hey, 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 stop beating my wiener. Pause. Jeffy, really? Are you kidding right now? Aw, oh, man. 
And also, get security, get this asshole out of here. Like, what the hell is wrong with him? That's his whole purpose of doing this job. That's what he got in the first place, and that's by doing that. What's wrong with you? And also, not only that, but that's really nice of what Jeffy just said. First, it was Marvin doing something nice for his son to make sure he doesn't embarrass him. And not only that, but that, I'm really liking the words that Jeffy's saying. He looks nice in his costume. I'm really happy that I'm seeing a bonding going on between these two. But let's face it, deep down, they still hate each other. But deep down, they still love each other. They're just afraid to admit it. But we all get that sometimes, don't we? To me, I do. Your day, Marvin. I got beat up again by the same guy that beat me up earlier because he's the dad of one of the sons there. And he was an astronaut. Ooh, you should be an astronaut, Marvin. I don't think you want me to be the same type of astronaut he is. Was everyone impressed with your job? I don't know. I got knocked out. Yeah, everyone loved him being a winner. But uh, I think it was a good idea not to tell everyone that he's the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. I didn't want all my friends to get jealous. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't worry. I'll get it. I'll answer it. Hello? What the hell are you wearing? Uh... Because by the looks of it, you don't have my house payment! And I will not accept that as payment! I get enough of that from my massage parlor! Oh no, this is for my job. I hold the sign and I yell, taste my wiener. Mm-hmm. You think I could borrow that sign, Marvin? I want to wear it around my house so my maid will see it. Well, I, I need this sign for my job. Well, I'll accept that as payment! And also... Can I get a picture? What? No! Too late. What? No! I, don't take pictures of me! You think I can get a selfie? No! Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, no! Alright, see you later, wiener! What? No! <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was Goodman. He wanted my house payment. So guess who paid our bills for the month? You did! I'm one happy wiener. Guys, guys, check it out. I got the new iPhone. How'd you get that? Oh, well, I had the coolest job today, Korea Day, so my daughter won it. But I took it away from her because I was too afraid my ex-wife might eat it since it's an Apple product. But <laughs> what am I thinking? She'd never eat an apple. That's too healthy. No, she'd want a, a caramel apple or an apple pie or an apple cider. I mean, you get it. She's fat. She's a hippo. Oh. Anyway, Marvin, you're fired. Fired? For what? Well, uh, we got a lot of complaints from people saying that you holding a sign that said, Taste My Wiener, made them uncomfortable. You told me to hold that sign. Yeah, but we're kind of doing like a 180 with the company, so we're going to start selling burgers and have people hold signs that say, Put your meat between my buns. We think that'll go a lot better. Well, can I have that job? Yeah, sure. You can start on Monday. Yay, I got a new job already. <sighs> Yay. Good. Yes, please. Good job, Marvin. Good job. Yeah, work as a hamburger. Please, bro. That's a lot better than being a hot dog person. And also, why is she saying yay like that? You're not happy that he has a job better than you do, bitch? Fuck you. Seriously, what kind of supportive wife are you? Like, go fuck yourself. Seriously, I hate you being in videos right now. Like, why the hell can there be a single video without you in it? I mean, I actually saw that a few times, but seriously, you really gotta get out of the videos. Yeah, you really are annoying to be around. And also, so far, I actually like in the career days. I mean, like, so far, the, all the other parents really suck. And they're not even actual parents to their own children. Yeah, even though one of them committed suicide and one of them are building their darkest secrets and it happens to be an OnlyFans, not a real astronaut... And also sit a couch all day doing nothing and don't even have a job at all. And not to mention one of them was talking about their ex-wife and that happens to be Brooklyn Guy, which was really funny because I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> oh man, let me know if you enjoyed that part too. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And also not to mention the fact that I do not like it when Marvin got beat up by that, by Cody's dad. Like, are you kidding right now? Like. Seriously, it's not his fault. It's literally the job that he's in. But hey, at least he managed to pay off by giving him that sign. Yep. But seriously, that's a lot, bros. And I do not like him having that. Like, ouch. Imagine, imagine some of us had that kind of bruise like that. Oh, man, we had to go to the hospital. Like, come on. I can't be seen like that. Next thing they know, they're going to cover my face up to make sure no one sees the big bruise I have. Yep. Anyway, I'm just going to sign right here, so I'll be seeing you all later in the next video by SML. But till then, you all have a nice day out there, and I'll be seeing you all later, alright? So, peace out, stay pro, whatever you want.